A nigga started from the back. Midwest SPL qualifying rounds. Lane two, set, go. Ten seconds. Guys, and my two first place trophies. Uh, this one won today. I also won these guys in a raffle. Uh, very beginning of the year, I won those in a raffle. And a long time ago, I won one of these two from one of AXO's. XO Contralto, one of his giveaways, and then about a month or two later, I entered another contest and I won the matching yeah. other one. <laughs> I ended up with both of these two guys. They're still in the box and they're both autographed. Um, so all of those are stuff that I've won. These guys are, um, I just won these today in a raffle, and uh, they're eights. I don't know what we'll be doing with them, but we'll do something. Anyway, and my trophies. Now I gotta go fix the stuff I broke. Yeah, we broke stuff. Alright. So, the casualty today is this thing. And that one seems to be fine. At least I didn't pop a sub. Poor Travis. Blew up one of those couple thousand dollar subwoofers. You guys seen the, the Sundown sub? It looks like a rocket. Yeah, he's got four of those. He blew one of those today. He's, he blows one or two of them at every show. It's a very expensive subwoofer. He's, uh, He's about fed up with it. I don't blame him. Uh, of course, Travis is a... He's a bit of a beast when it comes to the, you know, equipment. He gives it hell. But today... Those subs are rated at 3,000 watts RMS, and he had uh, had them on about 2,000 2,000 watts each for about a minute, and yeah, not a not a good thing. And, they, and one of them just smoked. One of the coals just smoked. Uh, and this dead gum I here fell out. I've repaired it multiple times, but 
I think it just needs more screws. And then I randomly pull a screw that's got the big, the big uh, head. Now, that's stuck. I'll call that good for now. Base said problems. You know, it's funny. Um, whenever I'm giving demos to people. There's uh, essentially two basic reactions. There's the seasoned person that's got lots of demos. They get in there and they go, right? No. Then you got the person who's never had a decent demo or any. And they're like, <laughs> holy crap, holy cow, you know, like really animated. Um, <laughs> now, if you're somebody that's got a vehicle that plays in the 60s, every, uh, every demo is like that. <laughs> Well, at least more more of them are like that. I love getting demo versions because it blows their mind. Then it really freaks them out when I tell them that I'm not loud. <laughs> well, battery stayed put. The fake battery. That's good. It's not attached. Uh, That's where it's supposed to sit right there up against that piece. But I don't have the other piece in here right now. I'm going to have to make something fake it. Can't make it, fake it. Or fake it till you make it. Now today, uh, the Trunk Thunder Lithium performed all by itself with one alternator, one 370 amp alternator. 10,000 watts of power, both these guys. And uh, I did 148.9 um, on the meter. And uh, my demos all day were at the same volume and everything as my, as my meter score. So I was handing out back to back uh, 149 dB demos and uh, 31 or 26 to 31 hertz, 20 or 26 to about 35 hertz, all in that range. Um, and and just rocking out hard, all blasted day uh, on just this little Trump Thunder Lithium. Banger 10K and the 370 amp GP alternator. That was an all day thing. That little dude, that little dude by itself, and this alternator, which is which never got connected today, never had to hook it up. This alternator is just running these two power wires through these two fuses back all the way back there to the Trunk Thunder Lithium. That was it all day. And right now, it's been setting for uh, a couple hours. We're setting on 13.1 on that gauge. Um, so... Just this. See those power wires come in, go through two more fuses right up there in front of my wall. They come in right here and go back out to this battery, then up to the amplifier. That's it. All day demoing on that. <laughs> I mean, like, I, uh, everybody, everybody today was kind of freaking out about. The fact that I was running off 
of that. They were all surprised, and then some of them were over here looking and trying to see if I had any batteries hid or any anything hid. And I'm like, no, that's why I have it opened up. You can see there's nothing in there. You can follow those two wires. You can see them. They run over there. They run up that way. You can go right up there and find them behind the seat where they come out. You can follow them all the way to the front. There's nothing hid under there. There's no other stuff up under here. It's just this guy. You know? I mean, I'm not sure what to tell you. <laughs> but that little dude right there deserves all the credit for that. Uh, and, of course, we can't you know, take away any credit from Big Dan here, the 9.5K uh, Defonts and... Darth Vader over here taking care of the meds and highs. And uh, Darth Vader never even got good and warm, man. Never even got, he got barely warm to touch. Uh, this dude here picked up quite a bit more heat than Darth Vader did. Neither of them ever shut off on me. What an amazing combination. What a great set of equipment. I mean, they were flawless. I demoed all day. I uh, was in the lanes twice. Won a first place and did just everything just worked perfectly, except for the fact that I, you know, uh, broke my thing up there. But we got that, we got that re screwed down. So, and this thing here, this uh, panel that I made to cover up where, the, where this monitor was and take that monitor, this thing was a huge upgrade. This worked really well to solve that whole little screen issue that I had and stiffen up this roof panels. That's awesome. This is a really good build, guys.